Hi, I'm Renee Bloom, and today I'm going to show you how to give a dog a bath. The things you will need are two cotton balls, a tearless shampoo, and another shampoo specifically designed for your dog's coat and skin type. You can ask your veterinarian or groomer which one is best for your animal. Put the cotton balls in your dog's ears so that water does not get in the dog's ears. If your dog's ears are dirty, you need to use an ear cleaner, which has a drying agent, water, promotes bacteria and ear infection. First of all, check your water temperature. Don't just start spraying the dog. Okay, seems pretty good. You're gonna wet the dog's face, but don't get it in the nose. So you tilt the head up. If you get too much water in the nose, they start choking and feel like they're drowning. So makes it an unpleasant experience. Now I'm avoiding the ears, even though there's cotton balls in them, but I do want to wash the outside, so I make sure the flap is down. Okay. Wet the entire coat to the skin, because the skin is what needs the most cleaning, obviously. Okay, for time purposes, I don't need to wet the whole dog. I'll go to my tearless shampoo. Even though it is tearless, don't pour it directly into the eyes. It can still sting. I'm getting it under the ear, under the neck. You want to scrub the hair in the direction you want the hair to grow. If you scrub like this, your hair is all of a sudden going to start getting trained to come up. Or it can also cause ingrown hairs, which can cause bumps. So, see, you can scrub it without going against the grain unless that's the way you want the hair to grow. Okay, that's the tearless. Get the face first, okay? And then I'll get my shampoo that my veterinarian has recommended or my professional groomer. And I'll demonstrate how to scrub the coat without going against the hair growth. See, I'm still massaging it, but I'm getting it so that hair is still gonna be healthy and fall right. Okay. Very methodical. Start at the back of the neck, do the entire body, and then the legs. When I'm doing the legs on this particular breed, I can go against the grain because you want that hair to stick up in the front. And once you've lathered the entire dog, of course it's time for a rinse. Start with the face first in case you've got a little bit of shampoo in the eyes. Make sure you get that out. Never spray your dog. Always hold it down so that water is just, just getting the soap off. And then not like this. That's like scary. Okay. You can actually feel if it's clean enough because it'll squeak, squeaky clean. Right, Splash? If your dog wants to shake, sometimes dogs want to shake when their neck is wet, just hold the back of the neck, give it a little pressure, and it makes it impossible for them to shake their head, but their tail might go, but help stay dry. Once you think all the shampoo is gone, re-rinse. You need to make sure every bit of shampoo is out of the coat. And that is how you give a dog a bath. 